The advent of agriculture has brought about many changes to human population dynamics. This is represented through the epidemiologic transition model created by Abdel Amran in his 1971 publication and explained upon by Barrett and colleagues in 1998. This model continues to be developed by contemporary researchers. In 1929, American demographer Warren Thompson posited the demographic transition theory. This modeled a shift in high fertility, high mortality, to low fertility, low mortality, as a result of industrialization in developing nations. American epidemiologist Abdel Amran expanded on the demographic transition model by creating his epidemiologic transition theory that made note of specific mechanisms that impacted human population, specifically morbidity and mortality. Amran's model consisted of the following ages the age of pestilence and famine, the age of receding pandemics, and the age of degenerative and man-made diseases. The age of pestilence and famine marks the period of human existence prior to industrialization in the mid-18th century. This age is characterized as a time of high fertility and high mortality. The average life expectancy was around 30 to 35 years of age. People living during this period died of infectious diseases such as plague and smallpox due to the high population densities in urban landscapes. The age of receding pandemic starts around the time of industrialization in the mid-18th century. This age is a time of steady fertility and a decrease in mortality. The average life expectancy increased because children living into adulthood and public health initiatives become more common during this period. As a result, there is a shift from higher to lower epidemic disease mortality. The age of degenerative and man-made diseases marks the period from the late 19th century to the mid-20th century in industrialized nations. It is marked by a decrease in both fertility and mortality. Life expectancy once again increases due to the survival of children into adulthood. People are dying less from epidemic diseases, but more from degenerative diseases such as cardiovascular disease and diabetes. In 1998, Barrett and colleagues expanded on Amran's epidemiologic transition model, which changed the first transition of industrialization to the Neolithic Revolution and established the Paleolithic baseline. This model overlapped Amran's second and third age, and a fourth and fifth age are added to the classic model, which includes the age of emerging and re-emerging infectious disease. The first transition under the expanded model marked the period of more sedentary behavior, farming, and domestication of wild animals that introduced zoonotic diseases. Fertility increased because of sedentary behaviors, and there was an increase in worker demand for agriculture. This also brought with it new diseases that affect mortality as the population density increased. The final transition in the expanded model is the age of emerging and re-emerging infectious disease. This transition only includes developed nations because the developing nations are still at an early transition. The third transition occurred due to things such as antibiotic resistance by pathogens, microbial mutations, and sanitation reforms. This represents the expanded model posited by Barrett and colleagues, which takes into account the Paleolithic baseline as well as the age of emerging and re-emerging infectious disease. The epidemiologic transition model is still in use today by contemporary scholars and public health officials. However, some scholars are still expanding on the model today.